What's up guys? We are back in the yak this morning. It's brisk. It's 35 degrees. Black Friday. Just put in on the Haw River under Chicken Bridge. You probably see it in the back there. I'm gonna do a short trip this week or this today. Uh, we're just gonna do the upper haw. I think it's only six miles. But I'm looking forward to it. Man, it feels good to be back on some moving water. I don't know why it took me this long, but it's good to be back. New paddle, got some new gear to try out. It's gonna be a good day. So this trip is a little different for me in a couple different ways. It's the first trip that my lady has provided my shuttle for me. So for that, and for every other reason, I'm grateful for her. Also, it's the first time I've ever followed a video that I saw on YouTube. I, I, I really needed to get out into some, some moving water, and um, I came across a River Kings video. They are pretty local to me them, uh, the, the River Kings channel and Yackleberry. Both guys that I'd like to collaborate with at some point. So it's kind of interesting seeing, you know, seeing something from a, a video on YouTube and coming out and experiencing it myself. I guess that's the whole purpose of my channel is to try to inspire people to get out and enjoy the world and unplug for a little bit. So I wasn't sure if I'd have reception out here. So I kind of memorized the turns and features of the water. It's not a very long stretch that I'm paddling, so it wasn't terribly difficult. But I'm pretty sure we're coming up on where I'd like to try to make camp. Looks like there's some islands, at least on Google Maps, looks like there's some islands in the river. rock gardens. Man, this is a really beautiful paddle. There's still some leaves on the trees here. November 30th. That's pretty nice. I can't believe I'm kayak camping into December. Found a pretty great spot here. It's a bunch of boulders. And behind you guys, there's some, some trees I can hang my hammock on. I have a fire out here. Don't have to worry about any dead brush catching on fire. Speaking of which, there is a bunch of really good dead trees over yonder way. And over here, just a ton of wood over there, and even on the island here. So, should have no problem collecting firewood. I want to get a bunch of it. Uh, I, I got here this early because my, uh, my sweetheart had to go to work, so she dropped me off before work. One of the good things about that is that I have all day to putz around and make sure that I am set up good for the night. I brought some 
brought two real meals uh, and some snacks. But I think I'm going to start off before I even start anything getting camped together. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Maybe take a walk and see what's over there. Changed out of my paddling shoes, threw on some hiking boots. Something that's really important to me when I'm out, especially when temperatures get, you know, a little low or having warm feet. So I brought paddling shoes and neoprene socks uh, for my paddle camp shoes, which for me are hiking boots, and two pair of socks, one for, you know, the day and putzing around, and a, a pair that I'll change into at night. Piece of new gear I brought is the Boreal 21 folding camp saw. Uh, <clears throat> something I want to do differently with this channel, just so I can upload videos more often is I'm going to start reviewing reviewing my gear so if there's any piece of gear you see me use you want me to review just let me know you know put it down in the comments um, but I went and I collected a whole bunch of wood it was super easy to collect and I'm gonna give this guy his, uh, his christening able to put together quite a pile of firewood for the night. Um, it gets dark early. Obviously it's the last day of November. So um, I want to I want to have a good good amount of firewood to, to give me some light for the evening. Also some warmth obviously. Uh, but also some for the morning. Not that I tend to have fires first thing in the morning but if it's real chilly out I might just do that. I'd prefer to have it available than to cut it in the morning. So, so that's what that's what we got going on. It's still early, so I might cut more. Um, there's no harm, in, as far as, as far as I'm concerned. There's there's no harm in cutting more than you need, as long as you're not cutting down live trees. It's pretty pointless to cut down a live tree because it doesn't burn well. But also. If someone else should stumble upon this place sometime soon, there will be some, some firewood already cut for them, which is, which is always nice to, to stumble upon. So, yeah, if I start getting chilly, I'll, uh, I'll warm up by cutting some firewood. Got the hammock hung. Hung it a little high because there's, there's a bunch of thorns around here and I don't want to tear either my under quilt or the hammock. Um, up until now, I've been using a blanket made by Winterial, and I think it's good down to the 30s, 30s or 40s. But what I've found is at night, I, I don't move much in the hammock, but still at night, um, my feet, I just can't get my feet comfortable, um, and sometimes they, you know, the, the blanket comes off my feet, and um, so I went with uh, a top quilt by Hammock Gear. Um, it has a, a sewn foot box in the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the 20 degree economy burrow. So I'm just letting it loft up like this for now. It's my first time using it. Um, the both both the top quilt and under quilt are rated for 20 degrees should be going into the high 30s tonight so it'll be a decent it, a decent and safe test for for what these are capable of with you know for me at least I sleep cold so <clears throat> we'll see how she goes I'm gonna make some lunch and then probably take a nap 
I think that sounds about right. So I realize a lot of the times I come out here, my lunch will be something from Packet Gourmet. More recently, dinners are either steak, vegetables, and or, or, or a dehydrated meal from REI. But I didn't have time to go to REI before work the day before Thanksgiving, and obviously nothing is open on Thanksgiving, which was yesterday. So before I went to work, I swung by Target, and I figured for this video, I would just eat food that you can get at a supermarket or Target, or you know, if you shop at Walmart, because um, there are options, um, and I think pretty decent ones. So for lunch, I'm going to make some chicken alfredo. The base is going to be a pasta sides by Noor. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to add some canned chicken that I got from Target as well. So chicken alfredo. It does call for half a cup of water and half a cup of milk. I don't think you have to use milk in order to do this, but just to be safe, I got some dehydrated milk, put it in a baggie. So this is enough for half a cup of dehydrated milk. So <clears throat> two cups of water, and the dehydrated milk. will account for one and a half cups water and a half cup of milk. I'll bring that to a boil and then I'll add the goodies. All right, so I've got everything mixed together and let it cool down a little bit. It's not the most appetizing looking meal I've ever seen. <laughs> but it's not bad. And it doesn't taste terrible. So It's a warm meal. It's probably going to be really filling. I won't eat all of it. And it's pretty hearty. And I think... I wasn't even paying attention when I got these things, but everything that I'm eating today was less than $10. Um, this meal probably cost 2 Eh, maybe three. A buck for the can of chicken, a buck for the pasta sides, and that powdered milk was super cheap. So, I'm going to finish this, take a nap, and see, uh, see what, what time I wake up. The landscape around here is just beautiful. I like that there's a lot of features to this, at least this section of the river. Uh, the rock gardens, the islands. Obviously, I haven't traveled much of it, but from from what I've what I've seen, it's it's certainly beautiful, and it it doesn't seem to be um, around any houses. Uh, I'm not familiar with this area but I haven't seen anything. So that's a plus, that's a huge plus. I haven't seen anyone, heard anyone, no cars, anything like that. It's, it's really nice. 
So I did take a bit of a nap. It was nice. Uh, the top quilt seems promising. And when I woke up, I did decide to put the tarp over the hammock just to cut down on wind tonight. It's not supposed to rain. Um, so if it doesn't rain, I'm fine. If it does rain, I'm fine. But it'll cut down on some wind. Not that mid-30s is all that cold. It's still pretty chilly. So I want to do whatever I can to stay as warm as I can. I have a tendency to smother my fires, I think. That's what I've been told, at least. Ah. Oh, it's already burning pretty hot. I'm surprisingly not hungry. Uh, I, I, I packed a dinner that I was pretty excited about. It was um, stovetop stuffing, powdered mashed potatoes, and some canned turkey in the spirit of Thanksgiving. But I, I just, not hungry. So, gonna enjoy the fire. We are losing light. People wonder what it is I do when I go camping by myself, aside from making videos. <clears throat> For me, it's a time to like reflect on life, to think about what's going on inside of me. And, and just to be. There's a lot of chores and stuff to do around camp. There's, there's a lot of doing. But there's also a lot of just being. And, and to me, I, I get that at home. Uh, I certainly don't come out here to escape home. Oftentimes, when I'm out here, I, I miss my lady and our cat. And sometimes she comes with me, but it's a time for, for me to just kind of get centered. I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of people. Uh, I imagine 
since you guys are watching these videos, I, I imagine it, it probably strikes a chord with, with at least some of you. And so even when I come out here and make videos, th there's a lot of, a lot of downtime for me. So I'm going to enjoy the fire for a while. Sound of the water in the background. This is this is really a wonderful, wonderful evening. I don't even think I'm going to change for for the night. I, I brought a change of clothes, uh, and that that I might change my mind. But as of right now, I, I think I might just sleep in what I have on. I didn't make any dinner, but I can't pass up raspberry crumble. It's still really nice out. This um, this fire has been burning very hot. I was actually sitting uh, barefoot for a while um, until I started walking around camp a little bit. Uh, Probably gonna call it an early night tonight. I'm gonna finish this, brush my teeth, and get uh, get ready get ready for sleep. I'll probably listen to a podcast or two while I lay there. I don't want to go to bed too early, but uh, yeah. So I hope you are all having a good night. And uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Mm, mm, mm. Morning. Got up about 20 minutes ago, started a fire, made a cup of joe. I slept fine last night. The over quilt, the top quilt, kept me plenty warm. It has a, a little snap around the neck um, that in the middle of the night I snapped it and pulled it over my head to kind of keep my sides warmer. But I'm really, really pleased with it. That was a good purchase. It definitely looks like rain. And I'm not too keen on paddling in rain when it's a little bit chilly out. Of course, I have my dry top and everything, and if I do get rained on, I'll be fine, but here's what it is. I'm gonna finish this guy up and start packing and hit the water. I'm excited to see what the rest of this river looks like. I don't have much further to paddle. I think maybe a mile. Um, a mile or two, so not, not very far. Just about all packed up. Just have to load the gear into the boat and then hit the water. Unfortunately, when I found this campsite, I was on this island here, and I had to walk over this little rock bridge to get to this one. Uh, the water, I don't know if you guys can see, kind of goes around the back side of this island in between the two. So I do have to like get in, paddle maybe 20 yards. Um, and then get out, lug it over some more, some more rocks, and then I'll be in the river. It's going to be a bit of a pain, but it is starting to drizzle, and uh, I just kind of want to get on with it. So, here we go. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, my feet got wet, and I don't have my neoprene socks on. The good the okay thing about that 
is that I don't have to do ballet to get the boat over these few rocks and into the river. I have wool socks on, and while the water is pretty chilly, my feet won't freeze once I get them out of the water. So I take that as a win. Dragging a fully loaded boat is uh, not fun, but it's part of it. Hopefully we'll be clear from here. One thing I do <clears throat> as I'm leaving camp, every time I leave camp, is I do a final walkthrough. After I have everything in the boat, I go to wherever it was I was eating, wherever it was I was sleeping, wherever it was I was you know, scattering my gear about, and I make sure I pack everything up. Um, <clears throat> have you ever left your house and almost gotten to work and wondered if you left the garage door open? It's happened to me, and it's kind of the same premise. So it just kind of gives me that peace of mind once I hit the water that everything is in there. Not that all, everything that I pack with me is replaceable. It's all just stuff. The only thing that's not replaceable is my memory cards. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty good about keeping, keeping track of my cameras. Of course, I say this now, I'll get home and my drone will be missing or my main camera will be missing. But anyways, the, uh, the takeout is not far upstream from a dam. Bynum Dam. So I'm keeping, I know that there's an island right before the dam. There's a small part of water that I could paddle after the island in between the dam and the island, but I don't want to do that. If I find myself in that situation, what I would probably do is just get out drag my boat across the island, halfway up or whatever, and paddle across the river that way. Not bad. Not bad for December 1st. <laughs> Starting to turn from a drizzle into a rain. So I am gonna put my microphone away. It got pretty wet, so it'll be interesting to see if you guys are actually hearing what I'm saying. I'm not far from the takeout. I don't think. But I really appreciate it if you stuck around this far. All of the subscribers and all the likes means, means a lot. I appreciate it all. I have some other uh, videos coming up. And like I said, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna start making gear review videos to kind of supplement the, the 
adventure videos. So if there's any pieces of gear you want to see, just let me know. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, eh?